Happy Labor Day, superstars. It's your bestie, Scott. And today we're drawing someone rather appropriate for the day, I think, in St. Louis Cardinals legend, Kurt Flood for Adam from Oregon. This may not be the most popular video because I'll admit Kurt Flood isn't the most popular player. He's no Mickey or Jackie, but he was super important to baseball. He was really good. He had a lifetime batting average of 293, three all-star appearances, and seven gold gloves. But his big claim to fame was when he challenged the reserve clause. Now, I'm no Ken Burns, but I will try to explain this the best I can. The reserve clause basically said that the players were essentially owned by the team that they originally signed with, even after that contract was over. So there was no free agency, and if your contract was up, your only real options were to sign a new contract with that same team, or just not play. After the 1969 season, Flood was traded to the Phillies, and he just refused to go. He was not on a current contract. He'd been in St. Louis for 12 years, so that was essentially his home, and the Phillies were a bad team playing in a bad stadium, so he, he felt he should have the right to consider contract offers from other clubs before making a decision. Now, when Flood was denied his request for free agency, he sued Major League Baseball, and then the case went all the way to the Supreme Court, but the court sided with MLB. After the lawsuit, Flood was blackballed from baseball and he sat out the 1970 season. The Phillies traded him to the Senators where he played in 1971, but he only ended up playing in 13 games before retiring. The Baseball Players Union continued to fight the reserve clause. In 1975, the Union and Baseball agreed to a new contract that included free agency. Other changes benefiting players' rights soon followed, and everything was sunshine and lollipops. The end. Not really, but do you really want me yammering on about whether or not free agency is good or bad for sports? <coughs> cough, cough. I, I'm, I'm fine with free agency, but baseball needs a salary cap. Cough, cough, cough. <coughs> Sorry, something was in my throat there. I can certainly see both sides, and you have to kind of feel for Kurt Flood, who gave up his livelihood to fight for what he believed in, and, and his efforts massively changed the game. First a history lesson and now a crummy commercial, but it is sales pitch time. I will make it brief. This original art is going to Adam, but if you would like a custom card with this art, I have made 25 of those and they are available in my Etsy store right now. While supplies last, of course, link is in the description below. And as always, I appreciate the support. And there we are. Like I said, such an appropriate subject for Labor Day for sure. Thanks to Adam for trusting me to do this. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch and we'll see you real soon.